Chapter 5 Introduction In Chapter 5 we're going to be looking at making a sword using the topology tools. Now the topology tools are evil, okay? I love them though. I use them all the time. In ZBrush 4 they're a little bit difficult, but that's okay. We're going to conquer all these problems together, show you how to undermine the system, and get used to the new uh, kind of structure they're living in. So they're just a little bit more sensitive than normal. But other than that, they're the same old topology tools. But I really want to hit this home and show you exactly why we think about topology the way we do, why it's important. And then I take and I even poured it out to Maya to show you um, the mapping and everything else. So this is a workflow for like students that are interested in producing game ready pieces right here. The only flaw within it is I use ZBrush to produce the UVs. So keep in mind in later lessons I'm going to be using Blender for UV generation. So there's a UV master um, plugin for ZBrush. I'm going to be showing you that it exists and how to use it and just I just click the button and unwrap it. That's it. And then you get to see a little bit of the flaws that exist because of it. Some some models survive it. Some are very good. Others, like this one, did not survive it very well. So usually what we do with these, we manage to do the UVs by hand using a UVW unwrapper. And that's Blender. So that is this chapter. Um, in the long run, it's just an awesome chapter in the fact that you get a sword and the sword looks kind of like this okay so it teaches you how to sculpt how to put sub tools together uh, all the sub tools have their all matched together to, so it's it's a really game ready piece and the fact that I can produce maps for it all right so that's the chapter and meet you in it